watch. Oh, okay. Might block the view. The arm in the lion's mouth. Yeah. One of the things that makes furries or game drives so exciting is the fact that the surprise element of it, the fact that you can go around a corner and there's a leopard walking along the path, maybe a herd of elephants down in a riverbed or lying next to a water hole like this. And we came past this water hole earlier, saw some zebra, and literally 10-15 minutes later another vehicle came past, they found fresh tracks, this lion had walked where we'd driven not many minutes before, and then suddenly you can have an afternoon like this unfold. It really is magic. So while I'm thinking of it, I did say earlier on the drive that I was going to explain a little bit more one of the questions that, that came through to us, just how the area work here, where we can and can't drive, and how all of that fits together. Obviously, for the moment, I don't want to get out. It's going to disturb this lion. So tomorrow morning on the drive, I will do that. I'll just give an idea of how it exactly fits together, the jigsaw of it. I haven't forgotten, but I think we can all understand that Big Mo Lion, like this guy, deserves our attention for now. Again. This is what people come to see. Beautiful male lion sighting. Stunning. Really having quite a treat with this male this afternoon. Roared for us, yawned for us. Seen some beautiful sides to him.
Kuma Prime. So, feeling on the See, this lion has got time on his side. No big rush. Although that raw already would have displayed his presence, like I said, both to his pride. They are quite a bit further north from here. The guys from Juma had seen them already. Beyond the, beyond the reach where we can go in, in another property, other people that own that area. But also to strange lions. If there were any other males in the area, they would have heard this guy and they would have heard that there's a dominant male around. That's another big part of the roaring, the display of it. Mm. You can see the thickness of the mane even hiding his ears to an extent. Still, just even though the light is getting very darker, you can make, make out the dark black hair behind the ear. It's to an extent the same idea as the whites of an impala's tail or a kudu's tail as they run off. With lions, that black marking creates a visual area that lions, when they walk in pride formation, the lion behind, you can see the one in front, make out the back of the ears quite easily.